I have mixed thoughts about Aquamania. On the one hand, I thought it was really good. We get introduced to a specific character, which I thought was quite exciting. But at the same time, I didn't think this was so great that it deserved the Oscar nomination. It was, of course, nominated for the Academy Award for Best Animated Short in 1961. It didn't win. I would have been surprised if it did. I always love it when Disney is nominated. They're nominated most years around this time, but not as much as they used to be, obviously because more and more players are beginning to enter the pool. But Aquamania is still decent. And this revolves around Goofy, who buys a boat and accidentally enters the boat into the water with his son on it, but he has to then use skis by accident. This is completely not his plan, which is usually what happens with Goofy. Things don't usually go his way. But he finds himself in this um, water skiing race and his son is obviously at the helm at the boat. He is just hanging on while wearing some skis. What could possibly go wrong? It's quite cute. There's a really nice bit of animation where Goofy is underwater with his car and there's a comment about rust and the way they animate the bit that follows immediately after, I really like. There's nothing wrong with this at all. I quite enjoyed it. I just didn't think it was amazing. Um, so for me, not really Oscar worthy. But that doesn't mean it's a bad short. I still kind of enjoyed it. Not as good as some Goofy ones, but I thought it was entertaining. It's directed by Wolken Reitherman and um, stars, of course, the fabulous Pinto Colvig as Goofy. We also have Kevin Corcoran, who did a lot of the young voices at this time, and he voices a character who is called Goofy Jr. This is obviously one of our first looks at Max as a character. I would not say that this is an unnamed Ma Max. Well, he's named Goofy Jr., but I don't think this was meant to be Max. I think Max is probably slightly different as a character. But it's still interesting to see what Goofy was like with a young child at this time. Uh, it's narrated by John Denner, and it's good fun. It's, you know, it's unpredictable, it's silly, Goofy gets himself into all kinds of ludicrous situations. I like the animation of the water, I like the animation full stop, I think there's some really great colour choices. Goofy is never one of my favourite characters, but I enjoyed it. Maybe not Oscar worthy in my opinion, and obviously it didn't win, but certainly one that's good fun. There's nothing wrong with Aquamania. 